Hi, this is a short video to go over the idea of significant figures or digits from your descriptive modeling and accuracy lesson. So we're going to take a look at a little group project about measurement done by three students. They're all measuring various dimensions of a room and then they're going to answer some questions about that room. So Anya measures the length of the room and she finds that it's 12.25 feet. Rowan measures the width of the room and they find that it's 17.325 feet. Steve was assigned to find the height of the room. And it's harder to find the height than it is to find the length or the width because your tape measure keeps falling over. So for Steve, all he was really able to conclude is it's eight-ish feet. Well, we're going to go with eight. I really couldn't get as much precision as Anya or Rowan could. And they said, well, okay, Steve, we're going we're gonna to work on this anyway. So then they go to do their assignment. So first, they have to put together Anya's measurement and Rowan's measurement to find the surface area of the floor. To find the surface area of the floor of this rectangular room, we take the length and the width. So Anya found the length, it's 12.25 feet. Rowan found the width, it is 17.325 feet. So Rowan chose to be a little more precise than Anya did. And that will come into play as we figure out the answer. But they were pretty well in agreement about how much precision to use. So to find the surface area, we multiply these. 12.25 times 17.325. And like the math answer, if those are just numbers and not measurements, would be 12.25 times 17.325. So we got more digits when we were done with our multiplication. That may be a little hard to see, so I'm going to write it out here. But we didn't magically learn more about our room dimensions by multiplying. So we can't get more precision this way than we had to start with. Anya had one, two, three, four significant digits. Rowan had one, two, three, four, five significant digits. Since this had four, this had five, our answer can only have four significant digits. One, two, three, four. So we have to round to the tenths place. I look at what's next to it. Since this is a three, I'm going to round down. So the room has square footage of 212.2 square feet. And I can't be any more precise than that. These are all just questionable digits that aren't related to our actual measurements. So they could all be wrong because we don't really know more than that. We didn't get a more precise measuring tape by multiplying. That doesn't make any sense. So we couldn't keep any more precision than we had in Anya's answer. I'm going to do another example that uses one of Steve's measurements. So if we need to find the surface area of one of the walls, and we'll use Anya's measurement. So we'll have one that's length times height. So remember Anya found that it was 12.25 feet and Steve was only able to give us one digit of significance. He found that it was eight feet high because Steve is not eight feet high and he had trouble getting his tape measure to not fall over on it. So we do the same kind of multiplication. We're finding surface area again surface area of a wall, not surface area of walls. Wow. Okay. We're going to just keep going. So 12.25 times 
times 8. Once again, we start with the math answer. If those are just numbers, we get 12.25 times 8. My math answer is 98. And that's already like, that looks to me, using just my general intuition about numbers, like it's already kind of lost some precision compared to Anya's. But I'm not actually done yet, because that is what the math answer is exactly. It hasn't been rounded yet, even though it lost its decimal places. That's just because um, 0.25, if I multiply it by 8, is going to come out nicely, because 8 includes 4 in it. So I need to look at my significant digits. Anya gave me 4. Steve gave me 1. So I can only have one significant digit in my answer. I need to look if I should round up or down. Well, this is an 8. 8 rounds up. So my answer is 100 square feet. So that's how it works with significant figures when you need to adjust your answer at the end with rounding to the correct significant figures.